Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of After the Trump, the show that recaps the show that no one can stop talking about. I am your host, Daniel O'Brien. Cody Johnston. Alex Schmidt. Katie Stoll. Guys, Trump versus the press. What an episode. Let's get right into it. Finally, yeah. yeah. In a season where we've had a lot of enemies and, and cramming a lot into an episode, it was nice that this one was razor focused on just two main events, really, that are just on the theme, Trump is going to war with the press. Yeah. We had his rally, and we had the CPAC day with speeches from Bannon and Trump, and it was just, finally Bannon. Finally Bannon. Finally Bannon. Finally Bannon, Bannon. Bannon speaks. Yes, because you theorized previously that he was just a figment of Trump's imagination. I had a bold theory that, that he was like a, a, a ghost or like an, a, one of those imagined yeah. uh, make em ups. Yeah, like a secret make em up like sort of character. Yeah, yeah, that only Trump could see yeah. because he was just so like clownishly <laughs> evil and spooky right. that, I, that I thought. Right, like, like pockmarked and right. his skin's falling off his face. Right, if there was a person like that talking to the president that was like, I think you should go to war with the press, someone else in the administration would be like, get that, that guy's yeah, a monster. Like, no, yeah. No, yeah. Uh, no, but we finally saw him. He's real. He's interacting with people. Yeah, yeah. He's, yeah he's, he touched. Uh, he touched Prius's leg. He even touched, touched Prius's yeah. leg. I like that. That was a, a, a funny moment in an, yeah. in an otherwise yeah. like pretty heavy episode yeah. where, where he was like, "I'm gonna give you a little rub there." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I think that it does give credence to a lot of the theories that he is the puppeteer and mm -hmm. and that he might actually be the person. And I'm a little bit disappointed because it feels somewhat obvious. It's sort of like you know how you always want a zombie movie where. They're humans who are familiar with the concept of zombies already. You know, like mm -hmm. this is a, a Hitler show where they're already familiar with the concept of Hitler. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. Like yeah. to see yeah. people just know it right away, and yet so many people don't. And right. like you can't stop it. Right. Like even with the uh, uh, with the fake news stuff, he mm -hmm. keeps saying fake news, fake news, fake news. That's directly from history with right. uh, Hitler, like referring to Lugan press and like right. the lying press. Yet. I don't think it was on purpose for him. It mm -hmm. seems like he stumbled upon it. See, I think we're gonna find out that he's not trying to do Hitler stuff, maybe. Exactly. Think, or like because it's like when he's telling uh, newspapers that they can't come to the White House press briefings, I don't think he's doing that to really suppress the media. I think his he's like got a child's idea of a con yeah. where it's like, you can't come, you're not allowed in here. I'm doing a rally where all my friends clap for me. Yeah. You can come to that if you want. Right. Write about I mean, that. Would you write about that for your website? I like that the show found a way to have him do speeches again. Oh, thank God. Because that was some of the highlights of last season, these these rambling, aimless speeches and this very, like these big monologues that he mm -hmm. would give in this very specific language. And yeah. I thought, those are gonna go away. We're yeah. gonna have a whole show about him it's reading from the beginning of the yeah. resident, It's some of the best writing on yeah. the show because it is equal parts bananas <laughs> mm. and 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 brilliant in 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 how bananas yeah. it is. Yeah. Know? Uh, uh, and and I don't think that the fans or the writers could let go of that. Because like any actual president would spend most of their time going to meetings and dealing with laws, right? And this show is showing us a president who just does speeches, yeah. Yeah. which wouldn't be believable, but it's so compelling the way he does it. It's we accept him. him. We it, let it go. It makes sense for him, yeah. I, I like that a lot. And he's really doubled down on uh, fake news and the media is the enemy of the people. Yeah. They're the opposition party. I love that he's doing this because the media is such a powerful empire and, and we're either going to see them strike back at him or he takes him down like like yeah. he's starting he's if you track the entire show so far Trump shows up on the scene and he targets Republicans, all of them, mm -hmm. one by one. Get rid of Rubio. Get rid of Jeb Bush. Get rid of all these uh, like ridiculous characters. Yeah. He targeted the Republican Party, got rid of them. Then real election, targeting the Democratic Party. Destroyed them all. Right. Uh -huh. And now, who's he targeting? He's targeting the press. the press. He's gonna take care of them. Yeah. So I'm, I'm more interested, like, I know that he'll do it. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm more interested in who's he targeting next? I mean, like, he's got a sight set on the media, and, I, and that leads to a uh, totalitarian state, really. I mean, all yeah. of my favorite shows, the way they stay fresh is by, like, blowing up their show from time to time. Yeah. Archer, mm -hmm. Crazy Ex Girlfriend, these are just shows that, like, aren't afraid to pull some kind of cord that just says, well, now the show's different. Yeah. So the show about government that we've been watching for so long, now suddenly it's this completely different, it's not, it's not democracy anymore. Yeah. Right. And isn't that yeah. interesting. Right, and I wouldn't want to, I wouldn't want to see the other show. Like, because as a fan, like, it's really exciting to see them promising to make that kind of a big move, because they're having him say that the fake news are ABC, CBS, NBC, <laughs> CNN, the New York Times, and the LA Times, which is like, I mean, if you get rid of that, it's a media-less country, you know? It's yeah, a right. really fascinating yeah. world we'll be in. Bannon, Trump, 
uh, the Spice Man, we're all against the press. Yeah. It's Spice Man yeah. is, is yelling at the news. He's having a press conference. And banning, what a great uh, scene. Organizations, banning people. Banning different Unbelievable. organizations from, from going into the White House, which is like, I mean, I, I don't What a way I don't to follow, end the episode. You I'm know? not really a politics guy, but we haven't done that in our history, right? As far correct? as I know, we haven't, you know? Yeah. Well, and they also, and I really loved how they intercut that with the scene where Trump's at CPAC and talking about how he doesn't actually hate the media, he's right. just being misquoted, he wouldn't yeah. shut people right. out. And then at the same time, in another place, they're shutting out oh, the New yeah. York Times and right. the LA yeah. Times and these other, and it's like, it's like in The Godfather where they're showing the wedding and the murder at the same, yeah. and going back and forth. Yeah. It's just yeah. perfect storytelling. I believe in the First Amendment the most of anybody. Yeah. Yeah. He's gonna be doing press briefings that are just for Breitbart and like Trump is my dad dot com. Yeah. <laughs> right. right. Like, it's also nice. Anytime I see an actor doing that big of a buffoon or big of a yeah. villain, it tends to be the actors who are actually very intelligent, serious, yeah. you know, kind Absolutely. people. So it's really nice to know that whoever's playing him is probably an amazing human being. Yeah. Right. 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 Yeah, right. Totally. I kind of want to see what he really does with unchecked power, which is what I think this season is about. Mm -hmm. It does seem to. Uh, yeah. And right. I, I, like, I want to give them a chance to do that. Because I think it'll be really fascinating to watch what happens. Yeah, even if it doesn't make any sense. The other thing that he keeps doing is 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 discrediting people for using anonymous sources, and yet yeah. he himself is seen using it uh, mm -hmm. through the White House with those scenes where he's saying like, "You can call the press, but you mm -hmm. but you have to be anonymous but, I, and cooperate my story." I think he might be setting himself up for a a, a fun thing because he says, "No more anonymous sources. If you're going to report something, you need a source. You need a name attached to it." And he's the president, so I don't know how it works in that universe, but what if he makes that law and then he finds out he's gonna have a day where he reads anonymous source was <gasps> Kellyanne, <Yeah. gasps> oh. Bannon, <gasps> <gasps> me? <laughs> 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 Guys, thanks for joining us. Uh, make sure you tweet at After the Trump with uh, what your bold takes yeah. are, and we'll see you next time. Hashtag bold take. In The Wire, they had a guy who who's, uh, was doing fake news and he was like, it's in my notes! And he always carried mm -hmm. around a notebook. And then at the end, they caught him because uh, a, a lady was like, their pages are blank. So what if all the, everyone, pages, pages is blank? Um. Hey everybody, thank you for watching that. Um, I have a really hard time doing these uh, end plate things where I tell you to like and subscribe because I just did a fake version of that for the, sh the show that you just watched. <laughs> Uh, and I'm, I'm out. Tanks dry. So.